Hi, my name is Megan Herrera and I am the Executive Director of an organization called the Rainbow Network. The Rainbow Network works in rural Nicaragua, helping bring aid and support and opportunities to people who need extra help. If you've heard of Nicaragua, raise your hand. Maybe some of you know or have heard of the country, um, maybe others haven't, but Nicaragua is located in Central America, uh, south of where we live here in the United States, and it's located between the countries of Honduras and Costa Rica. Parts of the country are warm and dry and dusty, while other parts of the country are green and lush, uh, and they grow a lot of coffee or bananas or other fruits and vegetables. The country of Nicaragua is full of wonderful people. They just lack opportunities uh, to provide for their families and struggle to survive each and every day. They struggle to pay for a visit to the doctor or to buy medicines. They don't have the ability to buy food so that their family can eat. They have a hard time providing shelter for their family to stay dry. And they have a hard time sending their children to school just because they lack the supplies or the money to transport or to ride a bus to school. The Rainbow Network saw an opportunity to come alongside these people that are in these struggles and to work together to provide a better future. Getting food and medical care and better houses and education was such a big job that not just one person could do it. So about 25 years ago, Rainbow Network formed a group not only here in the United States, but also in Nicaragua so that we could work together and provide opportunities for people to overcome these struggles. We ask people from churches, from businesses to help us too. We do all of this because we believe that God loves us. We believe that he loves us so much that it spills out of us and pours out of us. And we want to share the blessings that we have here. We want to share the blessings that we have through knowledge and skills and different resources that we have uh, to make a better life in Nicaragua. Here in a little bit, you're going to hear about how Jesus asked his disciples to spread the news about him all over the world. He wanted people to hear the words, but also to see people's actions. Have you ever heard the phrase, actions speak louder than words? It means that people don't just notice what you say, but they also watch and mirror your actions. We want to say thank you to the churches and to the people like you. So we've put together five sessions where we examine the way that Jesus showed love to people and how those stories teach us how we might show love to the world around us. This is a way we're showing we're grateful, not just telling it. Each day we'll show you a little more about what the Rainbow Network does to help people in rural Nicaragua. We'll also show you stories from Jesus' life that inspire us to help in the way that we do. Thank you for joining us in these lessons and we're excited to share this with you. Hi there everybody. My name is Denise Ingalls and I am the mission leader of Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church. Our church supports Rainbow Network because they are telling the people of Nicaragua the good news of Jesus. But another reason we support Rainbow Network is because they aren't just telling them, but they are showing them about God's love. We feel sad when we hear about children without enough food to eat or medicine to heal their ear infections and tummy aches or children that can't go to school because their parents are too poor. Most of you experience the sadness of not being able to go to school because of the virus. Imagine if that was your life all of the time. We can tell someone about God's love, but sometimes that's just not quite enough to help the person understand it. Sometimes we just have to show them. Jesus understood that. He spent his whole life on earth telling people about God's love and showing people God's love. He showed them in very practical ways, like being friendly, by getting to know people, by healing people and feeding them. When the day came that Jesus had finished his time on earth, he gathered his disciples together. 
Have you heard of the disciples? Another word for disciple is follower. And sometimes today we just use the word Christian. They all mean the same thing. So that means you are a disciple too. Jesus gathered these disciples and he gave them some last instructions before he left. He said it this way, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. Now, I want you to do something with me that will help you remember these verses. I want everybody to stand up where you are right now. And when I say the word go, I want you to run in place as fast as you can. Don't move around, just stay in place. When I say the words and make, I want you to stop running. I want you to make a fist with one hand like this, and I want you to take and pound it into the palm of the other hand, like you're pounding with a hammer and making something. When I say disciples, I want you to reach your arms out and act like you're holding someone's hands. If there's others there with you, you all can join hands. After all, we often hold hands with our friends or those we love, and when we show God's love, we're also showing friendship. When I say of all the nations, I want you to make a big circle above your head to look like the world. Okay. Let's practice slowly. Go. And make disciples of all the nations. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna do it a little bit faster this time. I want you to run just as fast as you can run. Go! And make disciples of all the nations. Okay, you can sit back down now because I want to illustrate these verses in another way. Over here on the table, I have a plate of milk. Not a lot of milk because we don't want to be wasteful. And I have some oil that I'm going to pour into this milk like that. And I'm going to take this spoon and I'm going to stir it up so that the oil makes little blobs. In fact, kind of looks like a map of the world. Now, I think this white plate with the clear spots of oil looks a little boring, maybe even a little sad. And I think this is kind of what people's lives are like when they're hungry and sick and wet and cold and don't know about the love of Jesus. Now, I'm going to start putting a few drops of color in here. We can pretend that these drops of color are the disciples that Jesus told to go and make more disciples. Or we can pretend that these drops of color are you and I and our churches because we are disciples also. Now that's starting to look a little prettier, but we're keeping to ourselves here. So now I think we need to see about spreading that love of Jesus more. Ooh, it's starting to spread around. We're starting to see some very amazing colors, aren't we? And I think this is what the world looks like when people know about the love of Jesus, when it's told to them and when it's shown to them. And look, we can just get some very pretty colors. That's what the world looks like when we make disciples for Jesus. The Rainbow Network is working every day and show and tell about God's love by helping with food, school, doctors, and houses. You're going to learn more about that 
in the lessons to come. But you don't have to go to Nicaragua to help. Ask a grown-up to help you learn some ways that you can help Rainbow Network show and tell about God's love to children in Nicaragua without going there. Also, ask a grown-up to help you learn about ways that you can go and show and tell about God's love in your own community. By ourselves, it's hard to make a big difference, but with all of us, we can change the world. If you need a daily reminder to help you remember this command that Jesus has given you, you could make something like I did. I used the colors of stoplights to say go and make disciples of all nations. You could also make something like this. Look up the scripture, Matthew 28, 16 to 20, and write this out. This is often called the Great Commission. So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to earth to live with us, not only telling us about God's love, but showing us also. Help us to be faithful disciples and to go show and tell the world about you. Amen. Uh -huh.